you should totally follow me on Vine. A link will be in the description below. Anyways, let's get started. This is what would Josh do, and this video is going to show you SwiftKey on iOS. So if you don't want to watch an Apple iOS video, leave now. There will be many more Android videos in the future. I'm just wanting to see how SwiftKey is on iOS compared to how SwiftKey is on Android. So let's begin. You need to go to the App Store and you can search for SwiftKey, but right now it's actually showing up as the very first thing. So we're gonna go ahead and click free and then install. And then it's gonna ask me for my code. I'm gonna go ahead and just put in my thumbprint and bam. I went ahead and got the app. So this shouldn't take long. I'm kind of excited about this because I love SwiftKey and I've gotten I've been using SwiftKey for years now and I've gotten so used to how the keyboard is, where the comma, period, exclamation point, etc. I've gotten so used to where all that stuff is. So the keyboard that you want, uh, how do I do the I've never done this before. Okay, cool. So SwiftKey Cloud. This is really, really, really important. If um I type in if I type in my username www.joshdew on here, it will auto suggest it right there because I've typed that in before and I pressed on it to save it. And then with SwiftKey Cloud on here, anything that I type in like my last name, something that's not like a common word in the dictionary, this will pop up on here and I won't have to manually type in that whole word. So let's go ahead and sign into our account here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. Get occasional, nah, not really. I know all about SwiftKey. To set up SwiftKey, follow these steps. Go to settings, go to keyboards, shortcuts, add new keyboard, SwiftKey, tabs. <laughs> okay, um, let's, let's do this. General keyboards, keyboards, add new keyboard, SwiftKey, tap SwiftKey, allow full access. So go to settings. I haven't done this before. This is new. So general uh, keyboards, where's keyboards at? Keyboard and then keyboards and then add new keyboard and SwiftKey. And I don't know if we, oh, allow full access. Allow. Okay, cool. So we've done that. We can go back to the SwiftKey app right here. And it looks like we've done that. So already done this. And having problems, SwiftKey Cloud. There's a cloud. Here's the backup and sync. You can see that I have nine linked devices. My iPhone, my Shield, Nexus 7, the TF701T, my Note 3, which is right here, and the Nexus 5 right here. And then the M1, which is that other phone that I got sent to me for review and my HTC one m eight that's downstairs. So all those devices, if I type in something on this device or any of those devices, it's going to auto suggest it on here and I won't have to type it in manually each and every time. I don't really want to get email updates. I know. So under keyboard settings, under themes, you can change the themes that you want. Like you can do a light one or you can do a dark one. I'm going to go and do a light one because honestly, that's what I choose on most of my phones, except for some of them where I go with the like forest green theme that's going on here. So we'll do that one and then go back. Advanced settings, quick period, auto capitalize, auto correct. Other ways to type, Swift key flow. So now you can actually do flow, which is like Josh and the dog were, yeah. So you can do that on here too. And we'll go ahead and show you that. And then we'll end the video. So I'll make open up the Twitter app to go ahead and compose a new tweet real quick, just to show you what SwiftKey looks like. And we're waiting for, oh, well, I got to press on the screen. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to enable this. Oh, crap. How do we get the keyboard to pop up? Oh, I think I just found it. It had a little, a little text that said SwiftKey, so I think I need to just hold this down. Oh, it is on SwiftKey. What the was, what was that? It's so like you farted. <laughs> All right, so it does look like we're actually on SwiftKey at the moment. It just looks very different than what I'm used to. So now if I want to type something in, I can do Josh and the dog. We're going to get some food. <laughs> so it's really, really cool. I absolutely love SwiftKey. Uh, my username, www.joshdw. Look at that. It auto suggested it right there because 
it knew that I typed that in at some point on one of my phones that has SwiftKey Cloud enabled, and it syncs it to their server, and now it's on there. So uh, I don't have to type that in manually and spell it out. So let's try out SwiftKey's auto prediction. The video was okay with you <laughs> and your uh <laughs> so you've got swiftkey auto prediction you've got the swiftkey cloud you've got all the things like holding down the back button to delete a whole word you can quickly go josh and the dog and then you can insert a period if you want to insert a question mark you can do that if you want to insert in a comma, you can do that. If you want to insert in an exclamation point, you can do that. So while this is a little different from the Android version of it, a lot of the things, the core functionality are still there, like being able to spell a last name because it knows, okay, you type Josh, and usually you follow that up with McAllister. So it's, this is just really, really freaking cool. One thing about this, though, is on here, on my home screens, I don't have an app called SwiftKey because it's I don't have to keep it in my on my desktop at all times. It's in my app drawer and I have to go all the way to my app drawer to get to it. But on here, it's stuck on your home screen. You can move it to a different screen like over here and not see it for a while, but it's always going to be on your desktop because you can't just simply remove it from your desktop and then get to all your things. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here to this extras folder that has stuff in it that I'm never going to use. So there we go. Now it's not going to bother me every time I go to try to find an app and I'm seeing SwiftKey on there. But I can use SwiftKey like I always have. This is awesome. This is really awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment letting me know what you think about SwiftKey third-party keyboards. If there's a different keyboard you prefer to use, trust me, I've tried a ton of them. I've tried AI Type. I've tried Swipe. I've tried TouchPal. I've tried many, many, many keyboards, and SwiftKey is always the one I go back to. SwiftKey Cloud has been absolutely amazing, and you should definitely install this keyboard. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos that are coming out. Know what video is coming out next. See behind the scenes. And also, if I post a video from any of my other channels, YouTube will automatically tweet out a link to one Twitter account from all of those YouTube channels. So follow me on Twitter, please. Links to my social media accounts will be in the description below. You might have to click the text that says show more to expand the description to see all the links. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.